I'm Michelle from Muskegon Area District Library. I'd like to show you how to make our Take It Make It Craft Kit bird feeders. We are using jumbo craft sticks for this one and the craft kits are available at our branches while supplies last and they are intended for grades 6th grade and younger. So what you're going to get in your craft kit is a bunch of st craft sticks, a tub of glue, a couple of q-tips, a bag of bird seed, and you are also going to get some yarn. So to start with, you are going to take and lay eight of these craft sticks in a row. You want to be sure that they fit nicely together so there's not going to be any holes because this is going to be your base and you want it to be able to hold the, the bird seed. So I'm not finding a good one yet. Here we go. I think this one will work. Yep, that's better. So line all eight of them up together push them close together and then you're going to take your glue and if you run out of glue this is just Elmer's glue but also wood glue would work well and so would um, a hot glue gun. You're going to put glue on the end of each one of these eight craft sticks so let me just get this here and be careful you don't get it on your table that you're using which I am sure I will do. So you're going to put it on both ends. Oops. I have to straighten these back out again. There we go. This is going to make your base. And so then you take, after you straighten them back out again, you're going to take two craft sticks and you're going to lay them across the end in that glue. And then you have a base for this. The next step is going to be to put glue on each one of the four corners of your base. So let's see here, let's put some glue here and here. And you have to be careful because the glue is not dried anywhere yet so everything is movable. There we go. And then you're going to take the next set of craft sticks and put them opposite. The last, the first set we put on were this way. Now we're going to turn them so that they're this way. And then you are going to continue alternating these back and forth. So those were this way. You're going to put the next set the opposite direction. And you're going to be putting glue in between each one. And you're going to build up the sides. Then when you get so you have two craft sticks left. Let me just fill a couple more in here. These are the walls of your bird feeder. When you get two craft sticks left, you're going to take your yarn and you're going to tie yarn on the end of each one of the two craft sticks that you have left. So we'll put some on here and then some on this. Whoops, some of the yarn on this one too so that we have this. And this will be what you hang it with. So then you're going to put another set of glue on each one of the corners and then you'll put both of those craft sticks on there. And what you're going to end up with, after you let it dry for a long time, you're going to end up with a bird feeder that looks like this. And you will have four pieces of yarn on it. And then you will take this yarn and you will hold it together so that it makes it flat, the bird feeder flat. The one I made at home hangs a little bit crooked. So you're just going to tie a knot in here, just a basic knot, and if you want you can tie another one at the top. This is not necessary but you can do this so that you have a loop that you can put on a branch or if you have like a shepherd's hook that you hang um, hanging plants on, you can just hook it right on that shepherd hook and you're going to use your bird seed and Put about half of it in there. Now I hung one of mine up the first time I did it rained and it, my bird feeder literally fell apart so if it's going to be raining out be sure to bring your bird feeder in but you just hang this up outside and watch the birds come and eat it. Be sure to watch for more craft videos and fun programs on maddle.org on our calendar and also on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm.